Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Winkins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create a body split effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, as you can see right here, here is what the effect looks like, and you already saw it in the intro, but this is the editing breakdown of the effect. And in this video, I want to kind of give you a little bit of an editing breakdown and basically how I created um, this effect. Now, as you can see right here in the bottom of the clip, there's just a music track. On top of it is a freeze frame of a clean plate. And then in the on top of that is just one clip that's split into three different parts. And the middle part obviously is the one where my um, legs disappear, and that's where the draw mask is. And then on top is an adjustment layer where I just added um, some color correction. As you can see right here, the music um, is from Epidemic Sound, if you're wondering at all. Now, as you can see right here, here is the clean plate. Now, let's go ahead and just copy it and put it right over here. As you can see right here, here is the freeze frame. And this is literally just a freeze frame of a clean plate. Now, the reason as you can see right here, absolutely nothing happens. Now, the reason you want a clean plate is because when you cut out, when I cut out my legs or when you cut out anything using a draw mask, if you don't have a clean plate or you don't have the background the same, for example, if as you can see right here, there's no mask right here, this background needs to be the same when we use the draw mask to cut it out. So it's always good to have a clean plate. And the reason you want to do this is because if we didn't have a clean plate right here, and I cut off my legs this part right here my legs were would just be black um, so it would look I mean, it, so it look incredibly um, weird so it's always good to have a clean plate now if you're wondering how to freeze frame head right over here and click on hold right there so you want to go to the speed option and click on hold and that's how you create a freeze frame as you can see right here now let's go to the next part of the video now this is obviously one long clip so you can see right here, let's go ahead and just play the clip. So the first part is basically snapping my fingers. Nothing's happening in the first part of the clip. But as you can see right here, now the middle clip, my legs disappear. And then let's go to the end. As you can see, everything's back to normal. So primarily, this um, effect is composed of two main parts. This part down here, which is the freeze frame clean plate, and then above it is where we're gonna use a draw mask. That's pretty much how you create this effect. So you cut your legs out with a draw mask, and you wanna make sure that you have a clean plate, or else this effect is not going to work. So you wanna head over to the effects panel right here, and go to masks. And as you can see right here, here's a draw mask. And just as you can see right here, see see this, see this, uh, see where my legs is. Watch, see it's just black. So if I didn't have a free, if I didn't have a clean plate, um, underneath the clip, as you can see, um, it would just be black. So as you can see right here, you just want to apply the draw mask um, onto the video, and that's pretty much it. Now as you can see right here, here is the draw mask. So as you can see right there. As you can see right here, I just cut myself out using a draw mask. Now I had to, you could also, um, you're probably gonna wanna zoom in a little bit to make sure you get the draw mask um, perfect. And sometimes you have to go to like 50%, as you can see right here. I had to go to 50% so I could cut my legs out underneath. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Sometimes if you have to cut around the image, um, you're gonna have to go to 50%. Let's go ahead and put it back to fit. And as you can see right here, here is the draw mask right here. Um, I just increased the feathering. I increased the fall off just so you so you wouldn't have a weird little shadow. Um, the problem in, in this video is I had a hard time because I couldn't get the way my um, room is positioned because I don't have like a nice Hollywood studio. I had a hard time getting myself, getting the light into a position where, where, where it wasn't shining on me. So I create some sort of shadow. So if you can get your light in a position where it's not like shining directly on you, that's definitely key so you don't create a shadow. But in my position, my room really isn't built. My room obviously isn't built like a Hollywood studio. So I did the best I could. So I increased the feather and the fall off to just help get rid of a little bit of that shadow. I also had to invert the mask so basically just apply the draw mask on to your clip right here and then just copy um, copy these settings and I also just added a little bit of color correction on top um, with the adjustment layer and then on the bottom I also um, I believe yeah I increased the highlights just a little bit because I want to make sure that because at the top part would create a little bit of a shadow so I wanted to at least increase the brightness a little bit because um, this part created a little bit of a sh this part a little this part was a little bit darker um, because I was blocking the light. 
but that's pretty much it as you can see right here you go ahead create a freeze frame uh, for a clean plate and then on top you just want to create a draw mask right here and then you can just copy these settings right here and that's pretty much it that's how you create the body split effect anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if there are any questions regarding how to create this effect go ahead and leave it in the comments below and i'll try to answer your questions thank you thank you so much for watching this video if you want to see more final cut pro 10 tutorials make sure to hit that subscribe button and check out my final cut pro 10 tutorial playlist see you guys in the next one peace